Today we're gonna do something pretty fun if you're into the building side of things. We are going to build a Vanquish GS410 Pro from start to finish. Uh, we used the GoPro, put it in fast motion. So if you wanna see a section in detail, just use the speed slow motion options of YouTube on your lower right corner. So one of our tribe, Randy Zhu, bought this Vanquish after we bought ours and assembled it for us and hopefully we learn something from it about how well this thing is made. So we're gonna share with you some of the things we learned while building this kit. The first thing we start out with the axles. It features scale Curry F9 style machined aluminum axles with a dropout third member on the F9 axle housing. Ring and pinion bolts to the unit are installed in the axles. It features integrated C-hubs and it uses threaded inserts so the entire axle isn't destroyed if the threads are stripped. The SS upper and lower links are heavy duty. They feature clean threads for easy rod and install. The SS pivot balls are included. For steering, it has chromoly universals which are very smooth with no binding even at full lock at their claim 50 plus degree steering. With the front assembled, we go to the rear and they come together quite easily and quite accurately and we take some photos of how pretty these axles are and they're very functional you know it has a shape that glances off rocks instead of grabbing them and getting hung up and now we move on to the assembly of the chassis this is one of the greatest improvements of this pro model over the previous model called the origin this one is a fully braced c-channel chassis with an aluminum pan hard mount. The aluminum full size battery tray fits 5200 mAh 3S and smaller packs can be run on side trays. The battery tray also acts as an additional chassis bracing, further stiffening up this wonderful chassis. It also adds the option for an electronics box location, which the included rear fuel cell can accommodate and it can be sealed off if it's not used. There's no receiver box in the traditional side trays so if you want to use the rear fuel cell it shifts the weight back a little bit but uh, even more important it's so far that you need some servo wire extensions. So now we move on to the motor mounts and as you can see the motor plates are very beefy you can take on a lot of power what's really cool about this kit is it has a super low center gravity motor location perhaps the lowest we've seen because it's it's as slow as you can get uh, right above the links and it's protected by a skid plate that goes from the center all the way to the front for a seamless transition when you encounter rocks and obstacles 15 by 56 two pitch gearing is what's included and the final drive ratios are 41.29 in the rear and 44.04 in the front with that 6% overdrive that they ship. The spur is positioned above the motor and it is all machined metal gears in this set. So the stock overdrive is 6% and a 21% is now available from Vanquish. Double aluminum retainers for the transfer case uh, give additional stiffness under power. And what's really another really cool feature is three screws attach the entire transmission to the chassis for easy maintenance. It's not a chore to remove this whole transmission and motor whenever you need to service it or do, do any changes. 
The incision drive shafts hang low due to the VFD transmission design and there's a better there's another benefit of the offset diff for better clearance and the dig unit and servo maintain slow CG of the transmission. And it was well thought out from the get-go. Larger spur gears can be run, but you'll have to remove the cover for that. And now we move on to the shocks. The shocks are pre-assembled incision shocks with, with captured spring cups. Uh, they feature very high quality threads and machining with double seals. There's no oil recommended in the kit, so our builder went with 40 front, 70 rear, uh, on, and green slime on the seals. But uh, our other machine is 80 weight oil all around as recommended uh, by a friend, and that seems to be working out real well. Double sheared axle mount points, 90 degree rotated top mount for optimal shock movement during travel are some of the nice touches on this thing. An optional taller shock mount towers are available, but no optional fore and aft mount locations are available out of the box. And only one set of springs is included. Uh, they're, fairly, they're fairly soft and they, they will sag this, uh, this uh, vehicle pretty pretty deep maybe 30 to 40 maybe 40 percent so there you go as we finish this off a few other thoughts it's very the manual is very well laid out with one-to-one -one drawings the body is pre-cut with holes body post holes already and there is highly detailed molded plastic pieces like rear light buckets uh, and interior scale accessories spare parts bag included no lights are included and no diff grease threadlock shock oil are included we are powering this with a mamba x and a homes hobbies revolver version 2 very powerful little motor and we are using a uh, spectrum dx6r radio uh, powering also using a reefs 444 servo High rack tires on metal beadlocks finish it off with an 11.1 adventure pack from Jens Ace. So stay tuned for some next videos where we see how this thing runs. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notify button and click on our links if uh, you're interested in purchasing any of these products.